So this is stage three of our wonderful trip to New Zealand. Stage one was getting on the plane, being delayed, getting to Wellington after two flights at about midnight and staying in a fabulous little hotel called the Bentwood Hotel, which is, as Joni said, very 70s, lot of, lots of wood, lots of space, lots of ordinary light switches, nothing fancy, just our kind of hotel. We slept like logs. Can you believe that? We slept like logs and got up at 8 o'clock. That, I mean, there was a time difference, but, you know, what are you going to do? So then we've got this fancy car now, which is actually a Skoda. My dad used to love Skoda. He was one of the first, I think, in Adelaide to buy one. So this Skoda has taken us to our first stop, which was Fielding. On the way, we had a little bit of a fight with our SIM card provider in uh, Palmerston, North Palmerston North. He said we were aggressive and we knew we weren't, but we knew he was. Anyway, we finally got a SIM card and we're on our way. We stopped overnight in Fielding, which was really nice. We had a hotel room with a kitchen, so we cooked up a bit of a lasagna thing, which we bought from the shops. Now we've just been shopping and we are heading to our lake, which is Lake Taupo, and the, ta the town's called Kuratau. And I will tell you more about that later. There's some And areas. yesterday we went oh. past a windmill. Oh, that's right. We stopped in Foxton, Foxton where these Dutch people built a, a windmill um, anno a n n o 2002 pretty pretty impressive to scale with a working flour mill inside and we went and had a look at it bought some salt to drop fish too and and now we're on our way again we this morning one other thing sorry i'm still here um this morning we got a little alert that the volcano our local vo volcano which is apparently a huge one um has been upgraded from Norton zero for risk of eruption to one. So now we're going to be a little bit watching the news and making sure that we don't have to evacuate. It's probably unlikely. One other thing, you can't see it probably because I don't have my zoom lens on, but in the distance, some of the mountains have snow on the top still, and this is mid September. For 12 kilometers. Point Lookout, you are looking out towards one of the best preserved sequences of river terraces in the world. On a clear day, this view stretches across the plains and valleys of Manawatu and Randitake, out to the west coast beaches and as far as some mountains. I won't try to pronounce them. <laughs> Each major river terrace was formed during the period of climatic cooling with the formation of the oldest terrace dating back to 350,000 years ago. It increased erosion in the headwaters of the river filled the la valley below with grey, wacky gravels. And each wacky intervening, gravel. <laughs> intervening period of warmer climate allowed the river to cut into these deposits, forming the deep, deep gorge that you see today. Huh. The country road, the Stormy Point route is part of the country road experience, etc., and will take you further north. Who oh, yeah. So these were rivers. And then the erosion. Warmer climate, the river cut into the deposits and made these meters, deep make a gorges. Turn at Milne Drive. Oh. Hmm. Is there a sheep that's lost over there? You can hear cows and sheep. Yeah. No mountain. Cheltenham. That, that sounds British. My yes. school used to be on Cheltenham Street. Continue on State Highway not here, 54 not for 30 kilometres. Well, that was that town.
will be on the left. Is it here? Mm -hmm. Your destination is on the left. That's it, you reckon? Yep. Well, you drive over the lawn? Yeah, well, there's no driveway. No. Okay. <laughs> there's our home for the next three weeks.